Oh, well guys, it has been a rough couple of weeks with the weather and particularly bad like two days ago when we had some very, very cold weather and I had an accident. I fell off my bike on some black ice during a fishing session, um, hit the ground pretty hard. I'm pretty bad and bruised, but the worst part about it was I've actually fractured my elbow. So I've been told I'm not really allowed to do any heavy lifting or any work with it for at least two to three weeks, um, but I can still bring you some content and I am still fishing, but don't tell the fracture clinic. So today we're actually doing an unhooking tutorial mainly focusing on deep hooked fish um, in one of the recent sessions that you'll see on the channel I did have a pike and it was relatively deep hooked it was hooked just into the stomach lining and thankfully I had the tools with me to be able to deal with it now it doesn't matter what time of the year it is whether it's a summer whether it's a spring whether it's the autumn or whether it's the middle of winter a pike can take the bait quite quickly it doesn't matter how fast you strike sometimes sometimes they'll get deep hooked anyway as you've seen in some underwater footage we've recently of pike taking dead baits yes the water was a bit warmer then but my god they woofed down the bait and then recently i managed to get a fantastic drone shot of a pike taking a dead bait now the air temperature was about two degrees that day and we'd had maybe three or four harsh frosts just before that day and look how fast that pike ate the bait he basically woofed down the whole thing in two bites that was an average size sardine and that pike was only about three pound so they can still woofing down fast in winter time and that's exactly what happened with the pike that we caught basically as soon as i saw the bite i hit record on the gopro and instantly opened the net in the time it took me to open the net and extend it and lift up the rod and reel down ready to strike the fish had woofed the bait down this happened over seconds literally just a few seconds um, i managed to land the fish and like i say it was hooked with the treble hook right down just just into the stomach lining now at this point only one hook was just nipped into the stomach lining and i left the fish to rest in the net in the margin now that's where the problems occurred because obviously as the tension has been relieved off the line and the stomach of the pike is relaxed then the other two hook points of that treble actually just got caught into the stomach lining too meaning it made for a bit of a tricky unhooking situation but i had all the tools i needed to be able to deal with it so the set of tools I've got with me today is actually brand new for me. Normally I buy them a bit separately, but I decided to get it all in one go. It's actually the Fox Rage Toolkit. It's a smaller version. It still comes with a pair of cutters, some heavy duty forceps, some thinner forceps for when you're working in between the gill plates, uh, and some small scissors as well, which is absolutely everything you need for dealing with a deeply hooked fish. So what we do when we've got a fish in this situation is, I was using a bog standard treble hook rig that you would use for pike. So that means there was one barbed point on one of those hooks and the other two were barbed less so what we wanted to do is we want to focus on getting the barbed hook out of the fish first so what that entailed was using the cutters that we've got in this set to go down and cut the bend of that treble hook that way that hook will become free and you can try and use your forceps to weedle out the other two hooks or in this case i just try to snip as many hook points as i could do before taking the trace out from the pike's stomach now i could possibly have unhooked this fish using just a normal method to send the forceps down i might have been able to wriggle it out myself without using the cutters but that might have taken a little bit of time whereas if you've got the cutters on you you can halve the time it takes you to unhook the fish and this fish was unhooked in less than a minute it only took seconds i sent the cutters down cut the points off the hooks that needed to be cut and then use the heavy duty forceps to pull the rig out of its mouth and the pipe was unhooked nice and quickly and easily and it ended up being a nice and simple situation and as you guys will have seen in the last video, it ended up being a really nice fish, probably around the 10 pound mark, a real solid fish for the canal. And it went back super strong, healthy, didn't have to keep out of the water for loads of time trying to get that hook out. And it was released nice and strong. So during this video, giving you a talk on how to deal with deeply hooked fish, I have been fishing, even though I'm not allowed. And I will say I have caught something very, very good that I'm sure you guys will really enjoy seeing and it'll be coming up in the next video. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you are because there'll be a really, really cool fish coming up very, very soon. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this might help out some of you guys out there that maybe aren't as experienced with pike fishing. Um, like I say, you don't have to necessarily go out there and buy a tool kit with all the tools and you could buy it all separately but it makes it a lot easier if you've got a kit ready to go and rolled up in your bag if you like the video don't forget to like it subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you guys later make sure you stick around to see that massive fish we catch in maybe a week's time